Good morning, students. Today we will see one question based on Coulomb's law and superposition principle. Exercise one point six. Four point charges. Q A two micro coulomb. Q B minus five micro coulomb. Q C two micro coulomb. Q D minus five micro coulomb. Are located at the corners of a square A B C D of side ten centimeter. What is the force on a charge of one micro coulomb placed at the center of its square? You are given this data. Let's drop it. It is a square A B C D. Four charges are placed Q A, Q B, Q C, and Q D. What is question? You have to find force acting on center O, where one micro coulomb charge A is placed. You have to ask one simple question. On one micro coulomb, means at O, force is acting due to A, B, C, and D. Then, according to superposition principle, force acting on O is F is equal to F A plus F B. Plus F C plus F D due to A due to B due to C and due to D. Clear? Now, how to solve this question? See, you are given four charges. Carefully, see what is charge on A and charge on C. Two micro coulomb, two micro coulomb means magnitude of charges are equal. Also, A O and C O. Both distances are same. When these two charges are equal and distances are same, we can say force acting on O due to A and due to C are equal in magnitude. Clear? Right. See. Okay. Charge magnitude of magnitude of charges. On A and C are equal, and A O is equal to C. Clear? It means it means forces F A is equal to F C. Force acting on O due to A, force acting on O due to C. They are equal in magnitude. They are equal in magnitude. Magnitude, magnitude equal. Magnitude equal. Now see direction. Two micro coulomb positive charge. One micro coulomb positive charge. Due to this charge A, what is force acting on O? Repulsive force. Repulsive force means. It is F A. Clear. Similarly, what is force acting on O due to C? Again, two line charges. Repulsive force means in this direction. F C. From figure, it is clear. F A and F C they are in opposite direction. Okay. Here, two forces. Two forces are in. Opposite direction. They are in opposite direction. Clear? They are in opposite direction. Now, two forces have equal magnitude, opposite direction. Then how do I write the relation between them? Therefore, F A is equal to minus F C. F A is equal to minus F C means they both have equal magnitude and minus sign in case. Both have negative or opposite direction. So therefore, F A plus F C is equal to C. Clear? Similarly, see what is charge on B? Minus one micro coulomb. What is charge on D? Minus one micro coulomb. So again, we can write the magnitude of charges on B and D e are equal. Right? Magnitude. Charges on B and D are equal. Same. Also, as this square, 
BO and DO distances are also same and BO is equal to who? DO. So again we can say the forces forces FB is equal to FB. It means magnitude equal. Magnitude equal. Clear? Now see direction. Force acting on O due to B. Minus charge. Positive charge. That is attractive force. Attractive force means towards. So it is force FB. Similarly, what is force on O due to B? In unlike charges, so that is a uh, attractive force in this direction. It is FB. Clear? Again, FB and FD, they both are in opposite direction. They are in opposite direction. They are in opposite direction. Opposite direction. So, how to write that the relation between them? FB is equal to minus FB. Now we have to find force acting on O. And what is force acting on O? Force acting on O is F is equal to FK plus FB plus FC plus FD. Now see, FA plus FC. What is FA plus FC? Zero. FB plus FD is zero. So what is the total answer? Zero. The resultant force acting at center is zero. Clear? Right now.